uh, been waiting for the families of the, of the loved ones who are found decomposing inside that building. They've been waiting for this day for months. KRDO 13's Tyler Cunnington is live at the property after a ceremony was held this morning for those families before that demolition officially began. Tyler, what is it like being on scene right now? Yeah, Bryn Josh, you can see we're dealing with some pretty windy conditions right now. That led to some concerns about how much of the demolition process would actually happen today. But you can see crews are actually wasting no time into getting into a good chunk of this building, a good portion of the roof and the ground level of the building closest to us has been torn through by this backhoe. What initially started out as just a scrape of the roof during that morning ceremony for all those families is now turning into the beginning of a mark of closure for many of them. Teary eyes and photographs of loved ones filled the seats of a tent this morning as families were let onto the property that's been closed off for months to get one final look at the building that once housed their beloved. Fremont County Coroner Randy Keller and County Commissioner Kevin Grantham taking time to thank all of those involved in the process of this investigation and demolition. It's led to this day where a backhoe scraped off parts of the roof of the funeral home as families looked on. A morning filled with so many emotions, leaving many with a bit of optimism to move forward with. Like Mary Simons, who I first spoke to on October 5th, the first day of this entire investigation. I'm excited. I'm happy. I feel like I can finally start healing, finally get some closure. But I'm so sad, too. I'm so sad for all of us that have had to go through this nightmare. As you can see, they're making great headway on this first day of demolition. However, the entire process is expected to take about 10 days in total, with all of the remains be taken to a landfill in Otero County. Reporting live here in Penrose, Tyler Cunnington, Cardio 13 Investigates.